Wahome Game Reserve in KwaZulu Natal boasts one white rhinoceros on its premises, an eight year old male named Vuyo. The reserve has been reluctant to allow their prize animals to be photographed for fear that its horn may attract poachers to the farm. This week, Vuyo was purposefully dehorned by a wildlife veterinarian, Ryan van de Venter, in an effort to protect him from poaching. One has to try and minimize the, uh, the appeal um, or the, the risk versus reward to the poachers. So by not having a horn on the animal, um, it, it, it tries to just stop anybody from coming to, 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 to shoot the animal or to, to poach it. As rhino horn poaching escalates, various methods have been employed to protect the animals. One of the methods includes using a chainsaw and a grinder to dehorn the mammal. Well, the procedure that we're going to do today, it's, um, it's to try and minimize the risk to Voya. Okay, so we'll do the initial cut, it's just a square cut across the horn. We'll take the side walls off and then we actually use a grinder to, to sort of round down the horn as much as possible. So try and take off as much of the horn material as possible. With the horn off, Vuyo can now find a mate. The biggest reason that we haven't uh, purchased a mate for Vuyo is because of the threat of poaching. Um, so if we now stick to this policy of dehorning, uh, we can more confidently go out there and find him a mate and uh, build a herd. White rhinos are listed as vulnerable species by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild, Fauna and Flora. It is estimated a rhino horn can sell on the black market for 60,000 US dollars per kilogram.